Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that two fishermen, Jim and Kevin, drop their nets into the sea at a depth of 25 feet and 28 feet respectively. Then A part is write an integer for the position of each net related to the sea level. B part which integer in part A has greater absolute value? And C part is whose net is closer to the C level? Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is absolute value of a number is the distance of that number from zero on a number line. And absolute value of a number A is written as absolute value of A which is equal to the numerical value of A without regard to its sign that is absolute value of A is equal to A and absolute value of minus A is also equal to a. Now if we have two integers minus 2 and minus 3 and we want to know which integer is closer to 0 then we make the use of absolute value. Now absolute value of minus 2 is equal to 2 and absolute value of minus 3 is equal to 3. Now we know that absolute value of a number is its distance from 0 on a number line. Now here we are getting absolute value of minus 2 is equal to 2 and absolute value of minus 3 is equal to 3. That is, the distance of minus 2 from 0 on a number line is 2 and the distance of minus 3 from 0 on a number line is 3. Now as 2 is less than 3, that is, the distance of minus 2 from 0 is less than the distance of minus 3 from 0 on a number line. Therefore, minus 2 is closer to 0. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution. Now in the question, it is given that two fishermen, Jim and Kevin, drop their nets into the sea at a depth of 25 feet and 28 feet respectively. And in the first part, we have to find out an integer for the position of each net relative to the sea level. Now for solving out this, first of all, let us draw a horizontal line. Now consider this line to be the sea level and mark it as the point zero. Now since Jim and Kevin drop their nets into the sea
Thus, the points 25 and 28 will lie below the sea level. Now, here we can see that both of the nets have moved downwards. So, these points are negative integers. As we know, in real life situation, positive and negative numbers are used to describe the quantities having opposite direction of values. So here, if both of the nets are moving above the sea level, that is, if we are having the upper movement, then in that case, we will use the positive integers. Thus, in this case, as both of the nets are moving downwards, that is, they are moving below the sea level, so in this case, we will use the negative integers. Now for the A part, let us draw a table in which the integer for the position of each net related to the sea level is given. Now in this table, the first column represents the name of the fisherman and the second column represents the integer for the position of the net related to the sea level. Now here you can see that Jin's net is at a depth of 25 feet in the sea. That is, this point is at a distance of 25 from 0, but in downward direction. So the integer for the position of Jin's net related to the sea level is minus 25 and similarly the integer for the position of Kevin's net related to the sea level is minus 28. Now in the B part we have to find that which integer in part A has greater absolute value. Now using the result which is given in the key idea. Now, first of all, we will take the absolute value of minus 25, which is equal to 25, and the absolute value of minus 28 is equal to 28. Now, as 28 is greater than 25, Therefore, the absolute value of minus 28 is greater than the absolute value of minus 25. Now in the C part, we have to find that whose net is closer to the C level. Now we know that absolute value of a number give its distance from 0. Now we have the absolute value of minus 25 is equal to 25 and absolute value of minus 28 is equal to 28. Now as 25 is less than 28, that is, the distance of Jim's net from 0 or C level, which is 25, is less than the distance of Kevin's net from 0 or C level, which is 28. So the distance of Jim's net from the sea level is less than the distance of Kevin's net from the sea level. Therefore, Jim's net is closer 
do the C level. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.